Canada is becoming the first country in the world to print individual warnings on cigarettes. So if you get past the hideously high prices, the lack of retail displays, punitive rules on designated smoking areas, and the package utterly covered with pictures of diseased organs, maybe the smoking causes cancer label will finally get you to quit. But this new frontier in government anti-smoking advocacy just happens to be occurring in tandem with a Canadian government program to hand out large quantities of free opioids to addicts. It's called Safer Supply, and the idea is instead of having addicts get their fix from the black market, they just hit up the government for the occasional baggie of hydromorphone, an incredibly powerful medical painkiller. It doesn't really work that way. The drug users often just sell the hydromorphone. But more than a few people have noticed the dissonance of the fact that on one addiction crisis, Canada is pushing harsh, stigma-based abstinence, but on another, it's doing the exact opposite, sidestepping any notion of quitting and literally just handing out slightly safer drugs instead.